Okay, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra Man, and today we're gonna go back and go into the Elgato Game Capture software, which is primarily used to record using, well, you guessed it, the external Elgato Capture Card, which you just plug a couple HDMI cables into and you're good to go. Um, one of the things that it can also do is if you click on the tab here at the top called Edit, you can also go in here and go through your big old library of stuff and you can actually edit or do some minor editing via this little clip timeline in order to get your videos and stuff ready for viewing on the web. So, um, I got, well, just for the sake of argument, uh, let me pick one of these bad boys. Uh, do, do, do. Maybe I'll do like. Let's do this B-roll for ARC. Let's do the second B-roll, maybe. So, I need to make an intro for my channel, a new version, kind of like the one I've already got. But I and a friend of mine, sometime pretty soon, are going to start an ARC series with a few of our other friends, and I needed some B-roll footage to put in the background of the intro animation, so I've got a couple of them right here, and you can see if I play this, I load in, you know, it's my character's first time existing, and they scratch at the weird crystal on his arm, and then suddenly we're here in this world, and I want to clip out just before all this uh, text appears, and then I want to export it so that it's ready to go and have an adventure out on the web, and then I'll probably clip that part out, back to here where the, the text in the chat disappears. Now, does that stay gone? That's the main question. It does not. So, I'm probably going to chuck the vast majority of this very short little clip here, and then I'll probably be able to use some of the rest of this for my various purposes, since you can see there's no chat window here, there's just, you know, dodo birds. And that I'm gonna punch to death because that's just what I'm into. And then I'm gonna export them using this panel over here so that I can edit them later using Premiere Pro, which you see here in the background. So once you're in here and you've selected your whatever object or video that you want to preview and edit, just select it from here in this little videos timeline. And if you used the tagging system, I didn't really bother, I just left it at default Pac-Man that I had on my computer from before. Uh, you could search for like Ark or Fallout or whatever you've labeled the game as, and then you select it, and then you can start messing around with it in your timeline. Now, if you're doing highlight clips, you're probably gonna wanna zoom in on this, and all of the various zoom features and all the tools that you're going to use are right here in the, the lower right-hand corner of your preview screen. It's this little scissors, which you're going to use to dice up your clips, this little trash can that you're going to use to delete different portions of the clip that you don't want to keep, and then the zoom in and out feature, which is going to let you zoom in to, like, seconds so that you can really fine-tune, drag your little blue line here, your little preview line across your timeline to see what parts you want to dice out. So, I'm gonna keep this little opening intro here, although, if I was going to use this, which I'm not, I'm actually going to remake some of this footage. You'll notice here at the top, there's a little, there's a little line where things are offset. That is a vertical tear in the footage, so I'd have to go back and turn on V-Sync inside the game in order to get rid of that, but I'm not too worried about that for right now. So let's start it, like, right here, so that that V-Sync tear is gone, and I'll just click the little scissors, and the scissors will create a cut wherever your little blue preview bar is, and this might be hard to see, so I will try to zoom in on this a little bit for you to see it a little better. Uh, I, at least I should do that in post-processing. I guess you'll know right now if I did or not. So, now I'm gonna select this little clip back over here, and I'll even zoom in on that a little more. So, there's this little bubble here, 
at the start of my timeline. I don't want to keep that, so I've selected it, and now I'm going to click on the little trash can icon, and now that is gone. So now I'm going to zoom out a little bit using the minus icon. And I'm going to find exactly where that annoying... There it is. That's right when the chat appears. I'm going to drag it just far enough back that that doesn't appear. Now I'm going to hit the little scissors icon. And let's, uh, let's just zoom ahead to where the chat disappears again. And I'll click the scissors again. Now I'll select that in-between area that I don't want to keep. And then I will delete it. And unfortunately, I'm not going to keep a lot of this footage, so I'm just going to keep this as B-roll in case I want to use it for that intro. So I'll clip it here, and I will just delete the rest of it. So now we have a brief little clip for the introduction, or the, like, the spawning animations when you're going into Ark Survival Evolved. And now I need to get it out of this editor, because all that you got here is all the different videos that you can edit in this little side panel and then you've got the different ways to export it here under share, and then you've got, like, how to play it so that you can see what's going on. And that, that's really about it. You got, like, the time codes here. You can take a screenshot with this little camera button so that you can use that later as a thumbnail if you want. But I need to get this out of here. But how do I get this out of here and I know what it's called? Well, the first thing is... The exported video is going to take the name of whatever you have down here in this little title box for video title. And you can actually get some information about this video chunk it here by clicking on this info. And you can even re-like tag it as Arc Survival. And so that's Arc B-Roll 1. Uh, I could just say for the level it's the spawning animation. And you can put, like, configuration or whatever you want, or some tags. Arc. Survival. Whoops, I misspelled that. Survival. Whatever, if you want to find and use this later for something. But I'm not too concerned with that. I'm actually going to rename this Arc B-Roll Trimmed 1, because it's the first one that I've made. Now I have a few options. I can click on the YouTube Share button. And this is going to want me to go and publish this straight to YouTube once I have it edited. But like I was telling you guys, I don't really want to publish this now. I want to use this later. And most of these different features here are going to be used for automatically publishing, you know, the YouTube one, the Facebook one, and the Twitter one. These features are all used to automatically upload it and share it onto the web so that people can see it. So what you really probably want to do is you want to find, on most computers, you should see a green icon that just says Pro MP4, which will just export a default MP4 file. Unfortunately, for this beta version of the Elgato Game Capture software I'm using on my Mac, the one that's got Stream Command, which I'm also going to be demoing later, um, unfortunately, like I can't use that one. So my option is pretty much I can share it to the Movies folder which is pretty easy. I just click on the movies and I'll just export a small clip. But I can also click on ProRes, and this will let me export an Apple ProRes file. I actually don't, not sure where these are going. So let's see where this, let's see where that thingamabob went here in all of my files. So here in my game capture library, I've got the ARC B-roll section. But it doesn't seem to have put anything there, so it looks like it's just literally exporting it right here to the movie section, and it exported them as an M4V video. Let me see what that looks like. You know, that doesn't look too bad, honestly. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, on Apple products, it's going to export uh, the regular version as a 24 megabyte file, and the Apple ProRes, which is an uncompressed video file, as a 409 megabyte file. And that's basically how you edit stuff inside of the Elgato game capture, is you just clip it around and delete the parts you don't want to keep, and then you can... You can't really drag around the different parts to reorder the clips, but you can quickly edit, like, one single episode together so that you don't have to worry about it. Unfortunately, you can't really 
edit these and then string them together using the Elgato. That's not quite what it's for. It's just make a quick clip that's kind of fun and enjoyable, then put it out on the web or export it so that you can use it later. It's not the most robust thing, but I guess it's better than nothing if you're not really in... You don't have like a video editor and you just want to make a brief episode, that's what you would use. And I could even go down here to my Just Cause 3 episode and I could dice this up. This thing's more than capable of exporting like a 24 hour minute long, hour, hour long video so that you can use it. Although most of the time, if you're on a PC, and I'll do a version of this probably later on my PC with the Elgato game capture footage, uh, you can really easily do the same thing. You just want to use the green button that says MP4 rather than something that might say ProRes. Let me look what it's got. So it looks like it's got also the Apple TV button, the share to these basic services button, and you can also export it directly to Windows Movie Maker so that you can just edit it on your computer. So that's not a bad option. And Windows Movie Maker for basic edits isn't terrible. So I guess that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you export video and kind of trim it around inside of the game capture. And there's really not too much else to talk about. These settings don't change, these setting buttons when you go into the editor. So I hope that works out for you. And I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Now, I guess if you want to see what you shared, it's, it shows up right here if you want to find it. I'm going to clear my sharing queue. And if you wanted to delete one of these uh, B-rolls, you could just select it and click this little trash can icon in the sidebar. But I'm going to use those. I'm not going to delete those today. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra, for more Chupacabra tutorials on how to use uh, the built-in editor and the Elgato game capture software that comes for free with your Elgato game capture. Um, I'll catch you guys and gals later. Have a good one, and toodaloo. Oh yeah, and make sure you check out my gaming channel if you want to see some delicious video gaming action, and that would really help me out. So toodles, everybody.